No way. It is a beautiful, beautiful day. It is not even that hot outside, which is nice. I was always a fall girly, but honestly, ever since I moved to the city, I think I've definitely changed into a city summer gal. Summer has just been hitting, right? It's just been hitting the spot. I've been having such a good time. I feel my best self. Like I can definitely tell the difference between cold Blanche and hot Blanche, <laughs> like in terms of cold, seasons in summer yeah i'm having the time of my life and i went to the beach one day like randomly i first went with my friend had the best time of my life went alone one day had the best time of my life so i'm going back i have my speakers in the back i have my sunscreen water bottle of course and i'm just literally just gonna vibe i'm not even gonna bring a book or a journal or whatever i'm literally just gonna listen to the wave kind of have like a mini meditation and Today, I've kind of been vibing with um, Keshi because I just got concert tickets in Toronto. So he has been kind of like my new obsession. I mean, I said it's Jack Harlow. It still is Jack Harlow. 21 Savage has been kind of making a household name for himself in my mind. But high key Keshi, I love his music. I love his music. So I think I'm just going to listen to him, vibe out, get my tan, and then see wherever the day takes us. One of my favorite things for sure is visiting the different coffee shops. Everyone knows I'm a huge fan of coffee <laughs> and trying to find the cutest cafe. I went to this coffee shop called Velvet Coffee. It is on Queen Street West. Usually what I try and do now, especially in Toronto since there's a lot of duds, I try my best to look at the menu of coffee shops and see what unique drinks they have to offer because at the end of the day, coffee is coffee. And they have this really sweet but so good coffee called milk cereal coffee. I love it. <laughs> so good. Summer has been crazy. <laughs> and I think this is my first time grocery shopping in about three weeks. So yeah, just to give you a hint of like how everywhere I've been and how much I've been going out, that says a lot. As per usual, I have not been eating the greatest or like eating my veggies as much as I would like. So I bought some veggies here, just some um, Asian styled mixed veggies. So I'm gonna do some stir fry. I also have some tofu that I really, really wanna use up before it gets uh, bad. I think I'm gonna have some Asian stir fry for lunch and meal prep that. I feel like I wanna add a little bit more just to give it a little bit more volume. So we'll see. <laughs> I don't know what else to add other than egg. I have this giant wok. Let's go ahead and do that. Honestly, I love the how easy this is. And I don't even have... Oh, I have teriyaki sauce. No, I don't. See, guys, I don't even know what's in my fridge anymore. That's how often I've been going out and about. 
but it's okay. It's okay. Okay. It is currently almost 4 p.m. on a beautiful Wednesday afternoon. I have the day off and I spent majority of it being very productive. I love that for me. But now I'm ready to play a little bit. And by play, I mean I just want to listen to music. I just want to, you know, vibe. I might journal and bring my book. This summer, I have been loving getting tan. I love getting tan. I don't know why, but tanning with this blonde in the city has just kind of been hitting i'm probably just gonna go to sugar beach in toronto which isn't really a beach it's just like a space that has sand by the water you can still hear the traffic of toronto in the hindsight of things no one really cares and i think that's why my attitude towards life has definitely changed because i've started to adapt the toronto culture which is basically you know, the idea of just doing whatever you want, having fun, living life, and surviving out there in the real world. So I'm gonna bring a beach towel to the East Coast, <laughs> and I'm gonna bring my book, I'm gonna bring my journal, I'm gonna bring my speakers, earphones, obviously, because, you know, there's too many kids out there. I can't really listen to my music, but let me show you my outfit, go-to outfit. So when I started to first tan on like a random day with my friend, i wore a tube top i am in my tube top era right now i'm gonna wear this old one that my friend chantal let me have because i stole it from her this is the very first tube top i wore that got me super duper 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 tan and i think it's i believe it's from garage but i messed it up in the wash i don't know how but it turned yellow and now i can't wear it anywhere except for like running around places while trying to get a consistent tan so i'm gonna wear this and then i'm gonna wear some biker shorts because you can never go wrong with biker shorts nothing crazy i'm just gonna tan yeah making sure i put a bunch of spf on my face i think i put a little bit of fake tanner last night but my face is still significantly less tan than my actual body as you can see like the huge difference there sorry showing off my titties my real self and then my tan self I had a pretty stressful day yesterday so i just want to relax and like do whatever i want today oh yes and if you're wondering why i have 
some balloons here is because it's my roommate's birthday and we're gonna surprise her later tonight so we're gonna decorate the place and I obviously didn't want her to see the balloons in the living room so I just kept them in my room but she's turning 27 everyone say happy birthday Joe